you guys ever have those moments where you're like, dang, dude, I wish there was two of me? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going through right now. Mainly because I have an inter interview to go to and I have a couple of assignments that I still need to get done, but unfortunately I don't have enough time. Ooh, that is a nice stingray. Check this out. I, I'm totally being a creep right now because of how beautiful this car is. Ooh, look at it. Super dope. One day I'll be able to afford either a Corvette or even like a Ferrari or something like that. Who knows? Just got to keep on going to school and uh, hopefully it'll pay off. But I wish I could show you guys a sports car on my vlog every single day. But currently right now I am on my way to my interview. I'm not going to be taking you guys with me mainly because I got to be professional. I'm not going to bring a camera to an interview because it's kind of weird. Unless it was a spy camera, that'd be actually really cool. But other than that, I will see you guys in just a few minutes. I'll let you guys know how the interview went. And uh, without further ado, see you in a sec. We are officially back from the interview. Yes, you guys are probably wondering what the heck I'm driving right now. I am driving the new truck. I'm super stoked about it. It's kind of weird driving a truck mainly because if you've never driven a truck, it makes you feel like you're going a little slower than you actually are the speed limit. May I please get a medium iced caramel cielo? A shot of espresso in that and extra caramel? Thank you so much. Alrighty, I'm not gonna lie. So normally I go to Starbucks, but oh shoot. Ah, little rash. <laughs> like I was saying, so normally I'd go to Starbucks, but unfortunately because my interview was right next to Beans and Brews and I need coffee to wake up, I had to go there. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and head back to the apartment. I'm going to go ahead and t start taking apart the headlight housing because I have a couple of ideas of what I'm going to do with it. I just barely stopped at O'Reilly as well to pick up some black paint. As you guys can already tell, I'm already hyped on the caffeine. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and take some of that black paint. We're going to spray paint something, which I'm going to show you in the house. Without further ado, I'll see you there in just one second. Alrighty guys, now that we're officially back home, we gotta go ahead and start by opening the hood of the truck and we gotta start going ahead and taking apart the two headlights that are in the front and I'll show you guys exactly what we're gonna be doing with that in just one second. I am interrupting this video really quickly to let you know, there's a lot of people that have been infected by the coronavirus and I just wanna make sure that you guys are aware. Make sure to try to keep your hands clean, don't touch your mouth uh, with your hands or even your nose or your eyes or anything like that. If for whatever reason you feel like you're getting sick or if you've been outdoors and touching public public items such as doorknobs or anything like that, make sure to be aware that the sickness is pretty bad. It can be, con it is contagious and I just want to make sure that you guys are being safe. Um, I'm not pointing this out there as any kind of joke or anything like that. This is serious. Um, you never know. Stay safe. <laughs> Back to the video. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start off by removing, disconnecting the battery really quickly. And not because I have to, but mainly because while the light is turned on on the inside, I want it to be charging. And you're probably wondering what these cables are. If you guys did not watch my previous video, these right here are uh, trickle charger car charger cables. As you can see, actually solar panel, you can kind of see the panel right here on the top of the glass. But I'm going to go ahead and start going off by removing these headlights really quickly. Now that you went in and you got your headlights off, take them inside, give them a good wash, and then I'll show you guys exactly what we're going to do afterwards. There's a lot of ways to open up these headlight housing. You can use a heat gun just like this. There's a lot of people that I've personally seen use an actual torch, or you can stick it in the oven. But we're not going to put it in the oven because that's a little bit more of an industrial way. This is definitely not a place that we're going to be doing something like that. We're just going to be going ahead and opening this up really quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, 
Huge shout out to my Uncle Mar for letting me borrow this heat gun. I actually had to use it in order to fix one of my grandmother's items and to push out her bumper. And the other thing I'm using it on is this. So thank you so very much, Uncle, for letting me borrow this. Now, let's get back to the video. Don't mind me, I'm just over here trying to cook myself alive. <laughs> Look who's here! My favorite person in the world! I just got like 20 knocks happier. If that's even a thing. Hey. I'm gonna continue heating this around and separating Look the lenses. What happened? What happened to your arm? Oh my god! This is what happened. Roll the video. Please. Ow! I burnt the mofo out of my arm. Look at this. See kids, this is exactly why you wear long sleeves and gloves. Don't be like me. Right, guys, once you've gone ahead and you've separated both the actual lens from the housing, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take a razor blade and you're gonna wanna clean up all of these, all of this right here, this adhesive. This is basically just, I'll show you really quickly. This right here is pretty much just the silicone, the black silicone that actually seals it together. So as you're going, you're gonna wanna remove all this stuff. If you decide not to take it off, What's gonna happen is you're gonna have a hard time putting this actual lens on top of this housing right here. So what we're gonna do is I wanna take this apart really quickly. Alrighty guys, so I am currently on the second headlight. Uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and put a stop to it just because it is pretty late at night. It's, well, I mean, it's not late, it's 7.36. I'm gonna put a hold on it right now because I gotta do some little bit of studying and I also gotta eat. Plus, I did burn myself right there, as you can see, it does hurt. Anyways, food ended up finishing cooking. We got some awesome chicken, rice, and some platanos. If you guys have no idea what these are, these are like, Fried bananas or plantains in English. They're absolutely bomb. If you guys haven't tried them, definitely try them. Go to a Spanish restaurant, go get some bananas, fry them, look it up. Anyways, I just wanna say thank you guys so much. I do apologize that today's video wasn't as long as I wanted it to be. Um, I will be coming out with a part two for this one, but if you guys did like it, make sure to like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Well, I guess it's the same thing. Anyways, <laughs> hit the notification bell to stay on top of the videos that I post. Make sure to subscribe and don't forget, Work hard, kick butt, and never ever stop trying. Peace out, guys.